Everybody, welcome back. You know what we're doing? This is what's known as a... Uh, Pioneer Cube Draft. Almost had a brain aneurysm. It's okay, we did not. I think I was going to respond to a thing. In fact, I'm 100% sure I was going to respond to a thing. What up, Alistair Stone? Oh man, six hundred nineteen drafters. The actual number has gone down since you uh, since you mentioned it. It's really sad, but guys. I paused it for your own benefit, and then it finally fired. And I could not be more excited about taking a coma, Cosmos Serpent. I could not be more excited. This is my first draft. It came out on Wednesday. I figured. I found out yesterday, Thursday night that it came out because I checked on Wednesday and I checked the calendar on Wednesday and nothing was there. And, uh, it's probably still not there today. So, uh, I literally just had someone just mentioned it in the chat. They were like, Hey, how can we not draft in the pioneer cube? And I was just like, well, I didn't know it existed because they literally don't have great ways of communicating. Oh, vine glimmer snarl voracious Hydra is a banger. I'm really not thrilled. Look at the look at the delay here when I click this. Click. It actually takes a second. And that's kind of weird. I don't care about wildborn prison. Like it's funny because obviously I always want to go. Okay, so it's like It's not. I looked. Everyone loves you and what? Oh, uh, I think we're just taking charter course here. I was going to take overgrown tomb, but like it's too, it's a little too on the nose to, to, to start with salt high colors. Our very first draft. Cause I've got one hand in my draw X of X is ten or more. Shuffle your graveyard into your library, draw X cards, untap five lands, you have no maximum hand size. I mean it's twelve mana to do that. It's still probably better than Polychronos and Sensor though. Yeah, I'm gonna take the card draw. Dissolve. Shark Typhoon. Shark Typhoon feels real good. And I'm going to hope we get some ramp. I like this. This is nice because the, the this is just red instead of red and green. Usually it's split the same way this border is, but I guess that's uh, it's a little bit tricky, so...
did we get some kind of ridiculous host? Because it's quite a bit of people here, it looks like. Unless it's a glitch. But uh, if so, what's going on, everybody? We're doing some Pioneer Cube drafting. Um, no, these cards are super exciting. Palladium here actually works pretty well with Coma and Hydra and Finale and Shark Typhoon. I think we'll just take the Palladium Mirror. Elvish Visionary seems fine. I, I like Vivian Arcbow Ranger, but it's four green, and that's not exactly where we want to be right now. And I think I'd rather just have this guy to hold down the fort and draw us to our better stuff. Paradise Drew is nice. I don't know how much we're going to need Rex Age. Behold the Multiverse, also pretty sweet. Uh... These are, these are the questions, right? I'm going to take Paradise Druid. I think the ramp is just more important than... Let's just draw three, right? Draw three for five. If you cast in your main phase, instead scry three, then draw three. We have Chart, Finale, Shark Typhoon. I think I just want Turn Timber Symbiosis to help us hit Coma. Hmm. I do like Branch Walker. Branch Walker is pretty sweet. Probably better than Search in our deck. Yeah, I'll take Noxious Gear Hulk just in case. Ultimate price, sure. Quite a few, uh... Quite a few black cards there. Oh, a Pateramander. Delicious. All right. Well, Tangled Florhedron's pretty solid. I think we're just taking Gross Spiral. Draw a card, put a land into play. We can play a 26 land. 20, not 26, uh, 18 land deck, maybe. Ooh, multiple choice? That seems fun to play with. For five mana, you can do all of these things. Yeah, we're taking that. That seems sweet. Disallow is actually kind of like a trick bind. Ooh, Torrential Gear Hulk. Uh, what do you hit so far? Nothing, absolutely nothing. Growth Spiral. But I think it's early enough. We could also take Zagoth Triumph, actually. Hmm. I'm going to take the Gear Hulk. I think it's early enough to build around Gear Hulk here. Ooh, Kogla. Also, Tamiyo. This Tamiyo is pretty sweet. Hmm. Do we have anyone to shuffle our... Oh, yeah, we actually... We could finale and shuffle all our stuff. I think I just want the Kogla, to be honest. I mean, it's also triple green, but it's triple green for six mana instead of four mana. So the likelihood of us having it on six is a lot higher than having it on four. <sighs> Yeah, I'm going to take the Kogla. I'm just a bigger fan of it, that's all. Uh, Leaf Kindred is fine. Nothing great in that pack for us otherwise. Uh, Servant of the Conduit? Hmm. It's a lot of two drops, but I mean, like, what, what's the alternative here? Phyrexian Revoker, Traverse, Blink? I mean, we already have multiple choice to bounce something. 
Kogler fights something. I'm just going to take Servant. Maybe it's better than something else we might get. Toski. There's a lot of three mana double blue counter spells so far. That's interesting. And absolutely nothing. Take the blue white land. Again, it's hard to tell because this one, look, look, you can easily shade this one black and white. You can't shade this one blue and white. We'll take it in case we have anything to anything to claim. Tangled Florahedron is nice. We can also take Thrashing Brontodon. I want to take the Brontodon. Teferi, huh? The problem with the glass pool mimic is that like this is legendary, this is legendary, this is legendary, this is gonna come into play with no counters on it. I'm just gonna take Azoria Signet in case we end up splashing something. I think collected company, sure. Wow, last pick approach. That's splashable. Oh yeah, Nissa who shakes the world. Love it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh it also it's also great for mana production for things like uh finale, voracious hydra, etc. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Isn't it? if it isn't if it isn't a little Johnny Medina. Old funky Co Medina. I think we're just taking this. Pack three of three, huh? More like Nissa who breaks the game, am I right? John Medina and I have been talking about doing a podcast together for like weeks now. I think Land of War Elves is fine. I just don't love it. <sighs> Torrential Gear Hulk's also looking pretty bad with like, well, like we just didn't end up picking anything up. I think I just want Inscription. Like it's pretty sweet. Like I just don't think we need any more Elves. Oh, part the water veil is a banger. Yeah, it's oh a solemn simulacrum too. Yeah, I'm gonna take a part. It's a, it's an extra turn. Like, what more do I need? I <laughs> I think I've just been burnt so many times before with podcasts where like they just stop, just abruptly stop. And, like, I, I do most of the work to, like, maintain them and to, like, monetize them and all that nonsense. And, that, you know, at a certain point, I'm just like, it's not going to work. So I think I've just, I think I've just been hurt before, you know. They were just taking Champion of, Champion of Woodies. But that being said, I don't think that's going to be the case with this podcast. I just think it's been my experience. And, uh... I just have to kind of break that. Hmm. Castle of Antris is a nice little just land. We also have 22, so we only need one more card. I don't think we need to dig through time. We have Chart, Champion, Visionary draws a card. Growth Spiral draws a card. 
This draws two cards. This draws a card. This draws a card. Like, Finale draws cards. You want me to pretend to be Rob? Yeah, sure. Okay. Incubation Druid's got to be better than one of the other ones we have. Ooh, Rattleclaw Mystic taps for two different colors. That's got to be better than Leafkin Druid. We can even play it on three. All right, we can take the Leafkin Druid out. I mean, I don't like Leafkin because not only does it not attack, it also doesn't... Oh yeah, Gilded Lotus is banging. Uh, it doesn't attack. It doesn't attack, and it also doesn't add uh, blue mana. Both of which are things I want. I just mentioned softball all the time, right? Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, these picks are not. I think we're done. I think our deck is done. So it's still like nothing great. I gotta. I don't. I don't think I want to play Teferi. I don't think I care about it that much. Can we actually play Collector Company? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's top six. Hmm. This is 23. I just worry that it's a lot of ramp. One, two, three, four, five, six. We also have Turn Timber Symbiosis. Oh, what up, Jimmy the Mole? I, mean, I can see playing Anticipate over, like... Hmm. Servant, maybe? How many creatures is this? 14, huh? We should give them a sample sometime. Who knows? Maybe the fans will hate us. Then it's an easy call. I, I definitely agree with you. I think we should. I think we should schedule something for this week. And uh, I should commit to it. And actually do it. And not be flaky. And uh, we can see how it goes. I'm going to put this guy in. I'll take out the servant. And then we'll put turn timber and castle. And then we're probably going to do one more. Oh, wow. Eight seven. This is eight eight. And turn timber. So this is nine eight. I think nine eight is fine here. Up late with the baby. You know me, just hanging out with my baby. That was quick. You're definitely not twisting my arm. I've definitely wanted to do it. And I, I, I don't want to have given you the wrong impression about that. Oh yeah, snap keep that. Yeah, I, also, I don't know if you saw my Facebook post, but it's also been like this perfect storm of like, of like me being super overwhelmed by stuff. Like I've had a ton of job interviews. I've had, we're moving in the next month and we've started already packing and like planning stuff. We're going up on Monday because that's when our lease starts at the other house. And we're going to take some stuff up there. Um... You know, it's a pandemic. <laughs> There's all kinds of things that are happening. Um, yeah, I'm just going to pass here. Oh, yeah, and we can definitely, like... Oh, that's un Oh, no, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I you know, I think... The thing, one of the things I don't actually mind at all is, like chatting about life stuff and just being like, Hey, this is what's going on. And like, how do we deal with this? And interesting. One, two, three, four, five.
I kind of just want a Shark Typhoon EOT for three. We didn't play a land this turn, though. Let's play Visionary. Try to hit a land. That's kind of like a land. Okay. Well, next time we're going to play Coma's Coil for sure. Coma, Coma Cosmos Serpent. Or rather. Yeah, I don't, I don't actually, I think, I think being vulnerable sometimes is good. I think it's a really good way to connect with people. And I don't really have a huge problem with that. So what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we have eight total mana. So we can actually play multiple choice. What if we play Shark Typhoon? One, two, three, four, five. Put three on this one, two, three, four, five. We're one mana shy of going uh, upgrade this into Shark Typhoon. We could play multiple choice and just... We have to deal with this. That's the... Four cards in hand, huh? Yeah, this just has to be right. No, the Lily's on five, so they need seven. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, you have three blockers, and it's like, this is... I don't, that was weird. Huh. That was, uh, man. Oh, I could tap the Planeswalker and they can't use her activated abilities. Yeah, that's pretty good, I guess. Um, yeah, we'll keep this. I mean, we have both Brontodon and Champion of Wits here. Hmm, yeah, we're gonna... <sighs> this hits a coma in the late game, and we have a bunch of... I think we're just gonna play regular lands here. We can anticipate and find a land. I'm totally fine with that. They took my land. Well, we can just get it green. And they can't attack with Lily because she's tapped. It's true. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the first time Pioneer Cube has ever been a thing. So it definitely makes sense that you have not seen it in a while. Well, that guy's pretty good. Let's see if we can hit a green. We did not hit a green. Let's take Voracious Hydra. I think it's probably going to give us the biggest chance of defeating a Legion War boss. Come on. Really? Really? Boy. <laughs> um, return to two creatures. We can play this. Let's get rid of Part and probably Brontodon. If we hit a second green, we're just going to cast Hydra Inscription. So I like fighting with Kogla. This is a, an earlier play that lets us play either of these, hopefully. But, you know, we might just be dead because we missed lands, so... Mm, no. They're not doing anything now. Interesting. What else can we do? Draw two. Create an XX. We can create a 4-4. Four, four. That's got to be better, right? Come on, Forest. One time.
and they are not doing anything. Goose. All right. I mean, it's a green source. <laughs> you got that win the game card in your hand. One, two, three, four, five. It's true. Well, they played another land. That did not do anything. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're just going to play this for one, two, three, four. If X is four or more, yeah. All right, done. Oh, yeah, put on top. Choose a player. Uh, they return a creature. Yep. That was a good card. Multiple choices, sweet. Desecration Demon. Come on, land. And then I'll just Kogla this guy. Okay, we're living the dream. I mean, I think it's just worth killing this. So long, Kogla. Where am I moving? We're moving to Fort Collins. I mean, if we hit a land, we get Kogla again. Okay. Land? I said Kogla, I meant Coma. Coma? Yes. That's Fort Collins, Australia, right? Yeah, Fort Collins, Australia. All right. All right. All right, in. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to hold this because we have Champion of Wits in the yard, so. Give me that serpent. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, what does this say? This spell can't be countered at the beginning of each upkeep. If you cast Coma the last turn, you win the game. Hmm. That's wild. Okie dokie. I would look for a new place in Brazil. trying to think of like I'm wondering how difficult it is to find places in Brazil things are insanely expensive okay that answers my question then I'm like is Brazil a super expensive place or not a super expensive place because it's definitely a major major city oh uh, shit baby's waking up <laughs> yeah like you do like you do Oh yeah, this hand is banging. All we need is one forest. And then we're living the dream. Remember that time we cast Coma twice and, and both times our opponents conceded? That was basically the best day ever. Oh good, they're multi-queuing. Great.
Well, they seem to be. Yes, yeah, Sao Paulo being expensive makes uh, total sense. I can confirm everything is here is expensive. Rent is crazy. Dang it, I wanted a forest. Why not just give me a forest? Oof. Big oof. That's okay. I didn't I couldn't cast that guy anyway. Oof. So long, Toski. Dang. This is painful. Okay. I'm not going to play an island here cuz it might draw a forest though. Hmm. We kind of did. I'm just going to cast this guy because it lets us play Kogel or part the water bill next turn. I'm not going to wait to flip this guy just because I should have a package sent out to you this to me. Oh, man. Usually Michael B's the ones getting all the packages from people. Okay. Well, I see. I see how you're going to be. Oh. Oh, buttery biscuits. I'm tempted to play that. I think we're just playing this face up because I don't want to beat that many lands away from Kogla. Uh, yeah. Two, three, four, five. This card's great. Uh, bottom. Draw a forest. Choose you. Mega four, four. Nothing but net. Man, 4-4 four, four, that bounces and draws you a card. I ordered you a package the other day. What? Did you? Hold on. Let me think. Is that right? Kurt would actually send so much random stuff that, like, sometimes I forget, like, when he... Oh, I haven't gotten it yet. Okay, because I'm, li I'm literally like, did you? I wonder what it was. Kurt also is known, like, whenever we move, Kurt's known to send us candles, which are, like, really nice candles. He's like, this is my $70 candle that I got you guys. And I'm like, oh, my God. That's rude. Eh, I'm still going to attack with both. I almost bought a $120 candle last week. I mean, treat yourself, you know? That seems fine. So we go four, we part the water veil, we go eight. I think we just actually have to... This gives them one turn. But next turn we can part and kill them. That seems fine. It smelled like cherry candy. That sounds delicious. It smelled like Jolly Ranchers. Okay. Well, maybe we shouldn't have given them that, I guess. Oh, actually, it doesn't matter because of we're parting. Never mind. I'm stupid. Hold on, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, we're one away from finaleing for 12. Let's target this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5.
Gotti. <laughs> They're like, you know what? I'll take it. How many Frankla points for a hot tub stream? Too many, buddy. Too many. All right. So they have lots of removal, it seems like, and a lot of discard. We don't really have anything to do about that. We can play like Spectral Sailor to like draw cards in the late game, but I feel like we're I feel like we're good. I will keep. What what is what is that? What are you doing, music family? <laughs> What's happening right now? I'm just gonna play this first. Yeah. This is eight to kick, so this is good. Four, eight, and then twelve, and then we're good. Like we can just play something on four, play something on eight, play something on twelve, and then we're. This is gonna be a two drop. I know it. Yeah, nailed it. I tried to link a modded coma image, but I guess not. Oh, hold on. Hold on. We can fix it. Hold up. Done. Do, 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 do. Oof, don't like that. <laughs> okay. Wow. This is so much this is such a this is so much better than I thought it was. Uh the cards are really good. Man, that's wild. Yep, you got it. What'd they hit? Part turn timber island, that's fine. Oh, we drew it? Oh my god, they could have taken it, but instead we drew it. Wow. Yeah, we're just going to make a guy here. Next turn we could draw three. Every time I'm like, ooh, maybe I'll... Oh, wow, you hit three creatures. That's pretty good. Yep, that's pretty good, too. Every time I'm like, ooh, maybe I'll try this arena season to do well. And it's like, oh, it's the it's the 30th. Never mind. Mm, graveyard. Okay, well, Ashiok being on seven with a Kogla. This seems pretty bad for us. Not going to lie. Doesn't matter. They're going to keep milling us. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, buttery biscuits. Ten? Yeah, okay. Bonale. Okay, well, this is actually decent because we can pressure Ashiok. Hey, kid, you like Ashiok? Yeah, that guy's fine. Make a pest. Draw a card, lose a life. Sounds good. Hmm. 
All right, fingers crossed. <laughs> oh. Oh. So. I don't know if it's worth tapping this down and making this not indestructible. I think I'm just gonna let the Mashiakos. We're also at nine. Like they may just have an incentive to to plus Ashiok. Not great, Bob. Yep, that's going to be the end. I can't deal with that. I mean, we should have picked up more counter spells. That would have been good. We can bring an ultimate price, but it doesn't even kill. It doesn't even kill Ashiok or Dragonlord Silumgar, so that's not great. Noxious Gearhulk is sweet, but again, don't really have the best mana base for it. I think we just have to try to beat them before they beat us. I'll keep this. Any green source in this hand is pretty good. Should have drafted Trickbind. Damn it. Green source. Okay, I see how you're going to be. I understand. Two three drops. Two two drops and a three drop, and we'll see. This is my life. But we got there. Okay. 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 Elvish Visionario. We did that because it gives us the biggest chance to play two lands here. Like Palladium Mirror is great, but like they have a lot of removal that they haven't like they haven't played anything yet, so they could just hostage take her it. They could Yeah, that's fine. I think the key to any game is winning before you lose. It's true. Uh, no, I guess. Well, they're like, well, you know, you don't have any lands left. <laughs> this is actually a good amount of mana. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. What is it, 10 mana? It's not bad. Even if they kill Palladium here, it's still 8. And we still have lots of good, good stuff. So, I think the shark died because he, he was going through forests. So he just couldn't. There's no water. You know, it's not ideal for a shark. Yeah, this hand is gas. <laughs> just, I mean, we just have to like outrace Midnight Clock or kill it somehow. So, they gotta take part the water mill, right? And they did. Ten mana. Kicking this is pretty nice. I don't really want to bounce this guy, though. Sure. Now I'm tempted to just anticipate here to see what we can hit. Could be anything. Maybe it's a coma. 
turn timber symbiosis. That's kind of like a coma. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just kidding. It's, it's not it's not great. Oh, but it comes into play with a counter, so actually next turn we can finale for a billion. Not actually the worst possible hit then. Coming into play with three counters is surprisingly useful here when we have finale in hand. Uh, seven mana five five, and it's also like a seven drop, not a not a two drop. In the sense that like it costs two to cast and three to adapt, or five to adapt rather. So, well, that's good. They just stole my guy. Thrashing brought it on. Oh, look who did it. Look who's your daddy. That's kind of cool. Uh, so there's four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we'll have six left over. <laughs> Whatever, streamer. It's a fair point. Okay, so now we have six mana left over, so we can either play Hydra for four. I don't think we're finaleing. I think I'd rather just play a Hydra for four here. We could also just we could play we could pay four, bounce the druid back to our hand and recast it. And then next turn, I actually think that's that feels correct. Because if we hit one more land next turn, we get to play finale for 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And that seems pretty good. <sighs> Do we just have to voracious hydro this guy for like a thousand? I guess so. So this has to be for seven, so we can actually go one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we'll play visionary first, and then we can do it for seven. I mean it's gonna die. But really it's just need, I think we just need to get off the board to be quite honest. Four, five, six, seven, one, two, three. So this is for five. Done. Uh versus Hydra fight this guy. I was like, where do we get this land? Oh, from the visionary. That's fine. Just that guy, huh? Fly away, oh my Zephyr. What if we do that? Like one, two, three, four, five for Nissa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're one shy. No, oh, we get to activate Nissa. Three... 
This is eight, <clears throat> nine, 10, 11, 12. Oh, I tap up to five lands. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, dear. <laughs> so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. Oh, boy. Oh, buttery biscuits. So let's play this guy. Wow, that was a that was a turn right there, my dudes. Like even if they languish, we get to keep Voracious Hydra, so that's kind of cool. Sure. No maximum hand size. Keep your nine cards in hand. All right, I think we won this game. I mean, I don't want to be pre I don't want to be presumptuous. Okay, that's. Mass manipulation. Boof. See, this is why I didn't want to be presumptuous. It's not looking great, Bob. Not great, Bob. Yeah. We're going to lose to one mass manips. Hmm. Okay. That's actually pretty good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Nissa being at seven is good. One, two, three, four, five. Put counters on this. We have three, four. Do play land? I think it's just Bronson on keep up, anticipate, next turn we can shark typhoon. We don't have any humans, unfortunately. Maybe we just have to not die. Thankfully, none of their lands come into play. Uh... Oh, so they reeled Island? And they have... Okay. And these are good. These are good last two cards. Like, your last two cards are Mass Manips, Champion of Wits. Like, it's pretty good. They still only have one card in hand, which is fine with me. I think. Well, maybe not. Oh God, this is a lot of mana. Oh God. Oh dear. 
Fucking Christ, are you serious? <sighs> wow. Jesus, these fucking draws are insane. Nope, don't do that. Do this. Hmm. I mean, this is better than the other lands, so... One, two, three... Champs. Okay. Well, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If we survive this turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. So this is nine, and we make a six, six. God, I really want inscription here. Are we just drawing one card? How do we draw more cards? Shark Typhoon for some, some nonsense. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mana actually. Nine, and then we can play Paradise Druid. Does Awaken untap it or give it haste? No, it just gives it haste. They have no cards in hand, which is kind of nice. Um, <laughs> well, like if we attack, they just block with like seven, six. I don't even know if that's great. I don't even know what's going on right now. This game is kind of complex. I think we're just trying to find inscription. Do we attack here? I don't even know, dude. Three, four, five. I don't think so. One, two, play Druid. Yep, that is our turn. All right, inscription. You are not an inscription, but you're close to an inscription. Um, actually, I don't think I want that. Does this hit coma? Like, this just hits, it has to hit coma, right? We have 11 cards left. Is that good enough? Who knows? Hmm. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 mana. So we can make a 12, 12. And they're in top deck mode. I think that's what we're going to do. They're going to kill Gilded Lotus, but I think that's fine. I think big ass shark typhoon like they're in, they have no cards right so like 
They have to top deck. We can make food. Watch them draw something like unbelievable instead of just a land, which is what they should be drawing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, man. Destroy a creature and opponent controls with power two or less. It's probably going to be Incubation Druid, right? Oh, no, we can actually... Yep, all right. Sure. They have no other cards in hand. That's pretty good. Got it. Cycling... Eight. Let's make sure we have enough blockers. We block here, block here. Yeah, we have plenty of things. Nine seems good because it also gets rid of Nissa next turn. Inscription, inscription. Oh, we knew it was multiple choice. <laughs> But we don't want to actually play this because we don't want to bounce Agent of Treachery. We can actually play it on ourselves and bounce something like Champion of Wits. We do have 10 cards in our library, though. Oh, no attack with Kogla. You're just going to let me keep the mana. Nothing you have has reach, right? So that's okay. We should have made a food there. That was big dumb dumb. Attack your face. Yeah, we're not even going to bother with Nissa here. Like, Nissa's ultimate does nothing for them, and they can just make another 3-3, so that's fine. I'd rather just put them on a two-turn clock and draw a card. That is the one we wanted. We don't want them to... We don't want to bounce this, though. Oh, we can return... Oh, this is not choose, though, so... Cast... Choose two creatures, this guy and this guy. Target player, me. One, two, three. That should be the game. Like they're in top deck mode still. Like we make another five, five. Um, Bottom and bottom. Oh, it's actually a six six, my bad. So this is what you are my hand, you choose a non creature not land. Yes, yeah, so you can hit multiple choice chart of course or turn timber symbiosis, none of which are big losses. <laughs> okay, that seems fine. Oh, nice. All right. Well, 2-0. Like it.
Pandemonious, good games, good games. Yeah, Agent of Treachery was good. Mass Manipulation was good. Jeez. I was impressed. I have to sneeze, though. There it is. Whew. I was hoping to top take Scarab God. Oh, yeah, Scarab God would be a beating. I was literally trying to keep your... Um, to keep your Agent of Treachery on the board because I didn't want you to replay it or get it back from the graveyard somehow. I feel like on the board is the safest place for it. So... Man, what's the hold up here? Let us do it. Have you always had that tattoo on your right form? Yes, since I was 18 years old. And I'm actually surprised you didn't know that. Man. That's kind of funny. Kerwitz Bay <laughs> from birth. <laughs> always had it there. Since since I came out of the womb. So I actually my goal is to get this arm sleeved up. And I'm going to have the water continue, but I'm also going to get like a Lotus in like an old school style. And uh, so like a black Lotus, like because Lotuses are like old school tattoos anyway. And I'm going to get it like old school, but it's like going to be a black Lotus. And instead of a Koi, I'm going to get a Mole Drifter. And they're going to be, they're going to have, I'm going to have the water continuing all around. So that's my, that's my goal to eventually get. I think we're just going to. Get a Pokemon on there too. Which one? Like uh, like a Psyduck in the water? That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Ooh, that guy survived? Ooh, one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, biscuits. Should we attack? Sure, why not? Do you make a mistake? Are they going to condemn it? I don't know. I've heard good things about the new Pokemon Snap. I don't know any Plokemon. <laughs> Buddy, you live in Washington. You should know all the po all the Plokemon. Oh, do we just get to Coma? Oh, God. this is gonna We're going to win the game on the spot again, aren't we? Oh, God. I'm really excited right now. Oh, Jesus, it can't be countered. Oh, dear. <laughs> Little Boofy has a sweet chicken tattoo he showed me. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Yep, that's not going to do what you think it does. Uh, sacrifice another serpent gets indestructible. I'll sack this one. Wow, this is two plays against against Coma that are not going to work the way you think they work. <laughs> oh, you shit! This card's amazing, and I'm really glad I added it to my cube. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, chameleon. You come and go. Cast face down. Well, they did not concede, but that's also because they played two cards against that don't do anything. So that's good. Okay. We could have also tapped like two of their lands during their upkeep. Wow, Coma's a fucking banger, dude. Good lord. We could also play quick and approach, which is kind of cool. End of your turn when you tapped out, quick and approach. 
Wow. I'm like, that's insane. Remember Pokemon? <laughs> They're back. You can go for <laughs> What does that mean? Oh, Lord. Is that, oh, is that from like, <laughs> is that from like when Pokemon Go first came out? You're like, do you remember Pokemon? You know why? Because they're back in go form. It's a Simpsons joke. I don't remember that, actually. There's just too many Simpsons. Plus, my knowledge kind of tapers off after season, like, 13. I was a diehard Simpsons fan for, like, a long time. And then there was, like, a, a few number of years where I was just like, I can't. There's just too much. There's just too much going on. Don't forget about Pikachu, buddy. Never. Yeah, this is fine. It's not nearly as exciting as like turn four coma, but remember Alf? He's back in Pogmore. <laughs> Crying out loud. Do we just chart here and discard land? Probably. I guess we go to seven. Do we discard? We go. We yeah. I guess we're just breaking even, right? Uh, that's probably better. Yeah, all right, sure. Oh, man. Not the damage from my castle. Oh, yeah, we're just taking this. Ani DeFranco has a song called Anticipate, and that's what I think of when I cast Anticipate. I think we just pass and plus this to play Coma next turn. And uh I think that's what uh that's what Brian Boitano do. You don't remember that joke? You never loved the Simpsons. <laughs> What's tell me what season it's from. Okay, you got it. Season seven, Barth sells his soul. Huh. Lisa needs braces. Dental plan. Lisa needs braces. All right. Coma strikes again. You gonna bounce it? Oh, you're scrying. Oh, that's nice. We're getting at least one. Getting at least one 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 coily gentleman off this guy. There it is. They could always steal it. That would be unfortunate. Uh, sure, that is fine. I mean, this is just an engine, though, right? Like I'm. There's like a million things happening. Y'all got any of them three threes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. I guess we'll draw two for now. Gideon just took a beating. Chart that course. Ding, 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 ding. 
you know what? I am going to play Rattleclaw Mystic. Now, what if they Doomscar? I don't think we need to just throw guys down. We also don't need to draw like 10 cards. So. Lisa needs braces. That old plan. Lisa needs braces. <laughs> I see. Um, yeah, okay. That's good. It's very good. Unfortunate is how I would describe it. Sure. Ugh, it's kind of frustrating that they get a guy here. Inscription. Oh, man, where's my inscription at? What do we got? One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. We have ten mana. So. We need eleven. We need a voracious hydra for five. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's try this first, I guess. Kill the coil. Do you want to tap something? Or do you want to indestructible? You got it. I kind of just want to alpha at the Gideon here, but three, the three here is a lot. So I would trade, I'll trade one for one here. Either we kill Gideon or we kill Agent of Treachery. I think either is fine. Plus, if we play Rattleclaw Mystic next turn, we can finale. So, theoretically, they only get, like, then we'll plan. Mm -hmm. Let's play you face down. All right. Well, we have a lot of things here, which is nice. This is also a human, so we can bounce it with Kola, Kogla, not Kolagon. Uh, dental plan. Lisa needs braces. If you guys want to support the channel as well, you should definitely consider subscribing. You can follow on Twitch. You can subscribe on Patreon as well for $1 or $2. I will give you this planes. Enjoy Thank you. that, buddy. Standard beat. Thank you for the resub, buddy. I assumed that was me, and I was like, what? What does that mean? Where's my inscription? Getting real, real tired. Thank you. PC Vogel, thank you for the resub. Two years. Oh, man, that's great. More like more than a year, am I right? <laughs> okay, so for this... One, two, three, four, five, six. How much is Flip? Flip adds three, so we net two mana from this guy. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 12, 13. 
Go down to eight at 11, so we're one shy. Eh, I think it's still finale here. Do we, do we think they have a counter spell? Probably. Is it going to cost us everything? Probably. Do we draw 10? Probably not. Yep, cool. Yeah, we're just going to go to the next game here. Yep. All right, so inscription is a bomb that we need to have. I actually kind of like this. Because if they do steal our guy, which is clearly a plan that they have. Where's the planes? I took out two lands. Oh, I added a card. I didn't. Uh... Can we add the planes, please? Does that not work anymore? Can I double click it? I don't understand. Oh, I'm confused. I think we draw enough that this is probably fine. Yes. Um, this is a bad hand. This is Zor's hand. That's a yikes for me, dog. Of course, they kept seven. I'll keep this and ship Brontodon. Any blue source, we get Chartercourse or Azorius Charm. I don't really want to go to five on the play against them. <laughs> Land. You know what? Still take it. One more land would be amazing. Land, land would be great. We can go Toski and a Gilded Lotus. This guy also can't be countered. I have two creatures in my deck that can't be countered. That's actually kind of obnoxious against my boy Toski. Second longest relationship in my life. Still funny. Still funny. I, I might be sleeping. I'll be like, that old plan. Lisa needs braces. Foretold. So you got a Doom Scar over there, huh? Okay. Well, with nothing else to do. Yeah. 
it does not matter. That guy's voracious. Sure. <sighs> Fucking Christ. Really? One land we can go Gilded Lotus into Charter Course, which is actually kind of insane. And, uh, yep. Yep. Uh, you can have another island. Yeah, I'm just done. They have two planeswalkers. Thanks for watching, guys. Unfortunately, we could not hit another land in 17 turns. Our deck seemed pretty good, and I uh, had a really easy time, but Zen Magic did what it does best, and thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Be sure to head over to twitch.tv slash if you're watching on YouTube, and uh, subscribe to the channel. It's a great way to support the channel, to support the content. It's one of my primary sources of income, so it's a great way to keep me alive and uh, help me eat meals and live in a house, and uh, I really like doing those things, so... Uh, Please be sure to support. I'll see you next time.